How to Reset Trial 120 Days Terminal Server, Remote Desktop, in Windows Server 2019. Press Ctrl Alt Delete. Log on as Administrator. I have already installed terminal server on this server. How to install and configure terminal server I have already made a video on it. The link is given in the description below. See my terminal trial will expire after 116 days. I will show you by accessing the remote desktop now. Go to another client machine. Go to run. Type mstsc then press enter. Fill terminal server IP address then press connect. Fill remote desktop username and password then press ok. Click on yes. See my remote desktop successfully access. Now I am disconnect our remote desktop. Go to server. Go to control panel. Go to run. Type control then press enter. Type date in search bar. Click date and time. Click change date and time. Now I am moving forward my server date so that my 116 days are complete and my terminal server trial expires. Go to run. Type GP update then press enter. Go to another client machine. Now we will again access remote desktop. Click on yes. See it will showing the remote session was disconnected because there are no remote license server available to provide a license. See remote desktop is not accessible because we had extended the date of our server. Because of which the 120 day trial of our terminal server ended and now we are unable to access the remote desktop. Click on OK. Go to server machine. Watch carefully, now we are resetting the trial of our terminal server. So that we can access our remote desktop again. Go to run. Type REGEDIT. Click on OK. Expand HKEY local machine. Expand system. Expand current control set. Expand control. Find terminal server. Expand terminal server. Expand RCM. Right click grace period and select delete. Click on yes. We unable to delete this grace period folder. If we have to delete this, then we have to make some changes in the permission of this. Right click grace period and select permissions. 
Click on Add. Type Administrator then click Check Name. Select Administrator then click OK. Click on OK. Click on Full Control. Drag down then select Administrator. Click Full Control. Click on Apply. Click on Advanced. Click Replace All Child Object Permission Entries with Inheritable Permission Entries from this object. Click on Apply. Click on Yes. Click on OK. Click on OK. Right click Grace Period. Select Delete. Click on Yes. Look, the Grace Period folder is now deleted. Close Registry Editor. Restart server. Log on as administrator. Go to another client machine. Access again remote desktop. Fill remote desktop username and password then press OK. Click on Yes. Look, the remote desktop is now accessible again. Now we can do our remote desktop again for 120 days. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for latest updates.